I am Dr. Satish Babu, Senior ENT Consultant working with the Apollo Hospitals, Bangalore. Turbinates are uh, finger-like projections in the side of the nostril. Uh, on each side you have about uh, three uh, turbinates um, from below to above, inferior, middle and uh, superior. Three different turbinates are there, of which the inferior turbinate is the biggest and most uh, prominent one. And that is responsible for a lot of symptoms like nose block, congestion, uh, running nose discharge, all that. So uh, a person having a flu-like symptom um, will have a lot of congestion happening in the turbinate. These are supposed to respond uh, to an insult like infection or allergy in such a way that they get congested, get swollen and uh, they also uh, tend to secrete a lot more of uh, mucus during this uh, period. So, if a person has a flu-like symptom only for the last, I mean, a short period of time, uh, then you, you don't really develop an inferior turbinate hypertrophy in the true sense. It will be a temporary swelling congestion which uh, subsides and the uh, turbinate becomes normally sized after the insult is uh, gone and the treatment is given. Whereas a person having allergies, he or she will still have those symptoms like, uh, you know, sneezing, running nose, congestion and uh, blocked nose. Uh, on a long term or at least it will be happening recurrently almost uh, you know every day every other day these symptoms are happening for a long term then the turbinates tend to become swollen permanently right? uh, so that is what is called a, a true hypertrophy of the turbinates so these are more uh, troublesome uh, because the nose is constantly blocked and uh, you know there is a lot of secretion happening as well they really um, make your life miserable um, sometimes uh, these develop so slowly that uh, you, you don't really even recognize that there is a, a turbinate hypertrophy. Uh, but uh, you have a terrible nose block and you probably tend to uh, snore in the nights. That means uh, you open your mouth and breathe through the mouth because the, the nose, nose uh, breathing space is narrowed down significantly. So a short term flu, no uh, chance of uh, permanent hypertrophy. Whereas uh, things like uh, dust allergy, allergic rhinitis uh, on the long run will definitely lead to inferior turbinate hypertrophy.